uh, and hello everybody. Uh, I see some uh, names that I, I, I remember and uh, I know directly. Uh, for the others that don't know me, I'm Massimo Giannesi. I work as a, a director in uh, Accurate and uh, uh, I'm very welcome and pleased to be here together with the NASCO family in order to present our product line. Um, so let's start because we don't have much time, but we have uh, actually a lot to talk about. Uh, Accurate, uh, we are an Italian company. Uh, we are uh, we produce uh, simulators and also we install sim centers uh, both in Italy and in Europe. We take care a lot of uh, the scientific part of our product, and that's why we have uh, almost uh, 70, 70 euro scientific publication on PubMed uh, talking about simulation. Plus, we have patents and copyrights on uh, on our product. Uh, now, today, uh, we do some homeworks together. Uh, my goal is to let you have the better perspective of all our product range uh, sold through the NASCO channels and to know better to who you need to talk with in order to propose our product. So if you see, we have column and rows. Uh, let's try to fill them together. So first of all, block sim. Oh, something I want to tell first is that we're gonna stop for question and answers uh, after the first block of uh, simulators that is block sim, vow sim, IU sim. Then we are talking about uh, Dr. Sim and we stop for questions. And then the last IBF line, pickup sim, transfer sim, and so on the same, and we'll stop for questions again. You can write your question in the chat, and we'll try to address as much as possible during the, uh, during the breaks after the blocks. So uh, first of all, Bloxim. Um, Bloxim is an ultrasound-guided fascia blocks simulator. So thanks to the Bloxim, uh, you have the opportunity to give something unique to anesthesiologists. This is your target in this case, and in particular for training to both physicians and residents. Residents, of course, first, but also physicians. Regional anesthesia blocks are not for everyone, not everyone does it, and in particular, not everyone do all the blocks available with blocks. Um, it's skilled training, of course, and the key markets I, in my experience are clinical skills centers, simulation center, postgraduate centers, and teaching hospitals. Of course, then you will address to your reality. Now, in order to focus on, on these products, I just want to write a statement and the feature. So a statement, Bloxim is the only one, a unique product on the simulation market that allows the training for ultrasound guided interfascial play blocks to anesthesiologists and anesthesia residents. So with, thanks to these uh, simulators, you have the possibility to offer something really unique to your client and something that has got nine different blocks in only one simulator. So uh, different uh, than the phantoms where you have one anatomy each phantom, you have the possibility to puncture and have a realistic feeling through the puncture, you use real devices. So no fake device, no devices with no uh, needle, for example. So you have real needle, real puncture, and automatic feedbacks for the user given by the computer. No traces of previous attempts, so no stress for the instructor, uh, and realistic ultrasound tissue insert, so no stress for the administration as well that uh, doesn't need to buy uh, often uh, the, the tissue insert. Now, let's see uh, together what the, the block sim does through this video. Uh, basically, the block sim, uh, when, when you have the block sim, you, you're going to have a, 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 a black box with, together with the computer and the monitor. And you have, of course, the possibility to inject uh, let's say inject um, local uh, 
uh, anesthesia fluid and to visualize the injection and the puncture using a, a simulated uh, but realistic uh, uh, linear probe and a real needle that is inserting inside the tissue. As you can see, you have uh, a, a, a correspondence from the from what you see on the anatomy, on the virtual anatomy, uh, together with the, with the ultrasound. So basically uh, what we do, we give you on one side, the real feeling of a, of a realistic puncture. And on the other side, we give you the possibility to localize the tissue pad inside a, 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 the a virtual anatomy and so to understand where you are puncturing. Plus, we give you a re very re a realistic uh, ultrasound view of what you're doing, like in this case, so a, 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 an ultrasound view of the puncture and of the release of the anesthetic in the right position or not correct position. Thanks to the computer and to all the sensors that are made, uh, that are inside the, 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 the box, we are able also to calculate the number of insertion of punctures uh, the, the, the student uh, gives to the, to the patient. And so to give a final feedback based on the, uh, on the whole uh, procedure, not only on the result, so on fascia or no fascia. You have the possibility also to manage your student, your class, your events. You have also the possibility to, to add your own needle to the, to the simulator. Just changing the length of the needle, you can adjust uh, your, uh, the simulator to your needs. Uh, you can choose, as I said, between nine different uh, scenarios and nine different uh, uh, interfashion plane blocks. And once you choose the scenario, as you can see, the software will tell you how you need to turn the black box uh, in order to set up the case. And once you, you, you turn it the right way, it will go the case. And from the instructor point of view, you will have the view of the, the, the view of what the student is doing actually. And you have the possibility to switch on and off helps you can give to the student like trajectory of the needle or visualization highlight of the of the fashion. Uh, in this case is a lumbar case. And the user is trying to, to, to see the perfect position of the probe, aligning the needle, and then going to puncture the, the, the point where you need to puncture and release the anesthetic. As you can see, we helped the student in this case to know where you need to puncture, allowing him, uh, allowing on his screen a circle, and the circle was pointing the, the reference, the, the, the the final point of the injection. Also in this case, this is a quadratus lumborum case, so QLB. Uh, in this case, you puncture and we have the, the, the student to understand where, in, where we need to puncture. You see the blue line. Of course, as an instructor, in order to make everything more difficult, you can remove the blue line and uh, do a realistic uh, procedure. Uh, together with the block sim, uh, you get three different uh, uh, tissue inserts. Uh, the three different tissue inserts are made in order to replicate uh, abdominal insert and abdominal area. So with no bones, but with fascia layers, a, a thoracic area, the pad B with uh, ribs. Uh, and uh, as you can see, it's very easy to change uh, just a click of a button. And with the part C, the tissue is the spinal one. So basically you have, you, you can feel uh, vertebrae, you can feel the spinal cord into the, into the, uh, into the tissue pad. It's um, a very compact design and uh, very easy to set up, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, it can be turned as a machine, as I said, in order to be used in different direction. I think uh, it's a unique and it's very new product that uh, uh, you need to propose to your uh, SIM center and uh, anesthesiologists on the market. Uh, now, 
Of course, as accurate, we care also about the scientific acknowledgement that we can get through the usage of these uh, simulators. And so uh, you have on the left side a, a, a paper from 2021 and fresh new. Uh, I was lucky in this case. Um, then we have a paper from uh, April 8th. It was just published. And this was a very interesting because uh, at University of Milan Bicocca, uh, they tried uh, uh, block sim uh, on uh, with residents and analyzed the results. And uh, and it came out that if you read the paper that basically using the block sim, uh, the resident felt more comfortable uh, in order to do than uh, regional anesthesia uh, uh, ESP blocks on a real patient and plus they uh, increased the, your, their, their uh, score and they reduced the time to do the, uh, the, the, the procedure. So very good result from this study. Now, what we can say is that Bloxim is representing a new generation of regional anesthesia simulators uh, that allows you the real needles, uh, puncture realistic tissue inserts, inflate uh, uh, anesthetic fluid without the generation of needle tracks. That's the main point uh, or damages. Uh, you have always the perfect image, the, the participant number one and the participant number 100. Uh, Bloxim is able to provide the opportunity to acquire and practice technical skills, of course, safely in a controlled situation and with the final score given automatically by the simulators. So uh, just you need to try it and, uh, and you will feel uh, the, the realism of this simulator. Now, we stay on the ultrasound field and we switch to a second product that I want you to focus on, that is Vausem. So Vausem is our versatile uh, advanced ultrasound simulator. So who do you need to speak with in order to propose this uh, simulator. Basically, anyone involved in uh, ultrasound regarding the specialties, so especially cardiology, critical care, emergency medicine, pediatrics, pneumology, anesthesiologists, and it can be useful for different range of teaching, physicians, residents, and also undergraduate medicine. Very, very useful, both for skill training, OSCE, but in particular for high fidelity simulator, simulation. So uh, Vausim is the perfect tool that you can add to your, to, to your client high fidelity simulators or, your, or low fidelity simulators in order to give the ultrasound features as add-on. Uh, key markets, med school, clinical skill centers, I think the main market is simulation centers, postgraduate centers as well, OSCE and teaching hospitals. Vausim, uh, as you can see on the left side, it can be added to, to t-shirts or to the skin of an actor or to the skin of a mannequin in order to get this extra feature to the different way of simulation you do or they do in their own facility. Uh, Valsim is, that's why Valsim is a versatile uh, advanced ultrasound simulator. Here, a quick video for you. Valsim is created with the most versatile and advanced technology and is capable to transform every mannequin or hi-fi simulator into an advanced ultrasound simulator. Convex, linear and phase array probes are included in the package as well as an innovative and unique reference system module that allows scenarios for diagnosis on move. Vossim will be able to display real patient images with the support of a user-friendly interface and a powerful editor that will allow the instructor to independently create a customized and exclusive casebook, including real ultrasound images, videos, and volumes. Vossim is a patented simulator based on an original technology that is not affected by magnetic fields, so it can be used everywhere. The diagnosis is the first step for a cure. Vossim will be your practice for perfection. All right, so uh, main feature of this simulator, something you need to remember is 
you can make any simulator or mannequin actor, whatever uh, ultrasound line. So with an ultrasound feature, very easy to do. You have sensors, you have a dedicated um, editor uh, and uh, to set up your mannequin. You can expand cases, uh, buying new models or that you can purchase separately, or you can also add your own models. In fact, embedded together with the software, there is an editor that allows the acquisition and the creation of new cases directly by the customer without any additional cost. That is very important. So your customer is able to add his own videos, images, volumes inside the, 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 the Bowser simulator and to apply these, uh, these uh, images, these cases to their own high fidelity or low fidelity simulator. Uh, it's very important to remember that because basically what you're offering at the end of the day is an extra feature to an already made uh, investment by the client. So uh, he will be only happy to see that he can refresh what he already has with the new, uh, with new features. Uh, Bowsim has got three type of, uh, of probes, curvilinear, linear, and cardiological, in order to uh, be able to uh, test also the user to recognize which probe is better in a particular situation. Uh, it's, uh, it can work also during movement of the patient, for example, at tilt, at the tilt uh, or movement of the patient inside the room. Uh, and you have the possibility to install the software everywhere. So in all the PCs or uh, you want with no limitations. So it means that if you have a, a full sim center with different simulators, you can install on the all-in-ones or on different computers the software and switch from one simulator to the other with the probes in case you want to use on multiple simulators. The instructor interface is browser-based and is separated by the rest of the simulators. This allows your, your, your uh, client to uh, basically use as in a real uh, I think that the simulation environment, the simulator. So in the control room, the instructor, in the simulation room, the, the, the user. Now, uh, just to, we don't see the whole video, just a small part of it. Uh, so I wanted to, let me switch off the, the audio. I wanted you to see for example, the, the interface, this is the user interface that you have got in the middle. The, uh, you have the, uh, the ultrasound view, like in a real ultrasound, uh, ultrasound machine. We have in the picture in picture, we use the, a, a very simple mannequin where we put sensor on top and just switching from one point to another, we can, you can see how the, different volumes load and you can see how the different situation can change. On the right side now you have the instructor interface that can be visualized on an iPad for example or on a portable device. You just need the browser and over there you can switch the case from one to the other. You can preview the same case and you can launch the case uh, to the to the user, so you can see now we switch from a, a, a normal heart to a, a different uh, heart. You can also change the heart rate and change the respiratory rate of your uh, of your uh, volumes. So basically, you are able, thanks to the VoSim, to adapt your images to what is going on in the simulation. So you don't have something fixed to what you load inside the, the, the ultrasound simulator, but basically you can adapt by the different scenarios that will be run with that particular high fidelity simulator. So VowSim is the perfect match you can have with uh, your sim center and your, your mannequin, your patient simulators. The user interface is absolutely changed from when we show, uh, shot the video that you saw before. So now we have a 3D anatomy that make the user understand where he is on, this, on, on the body of the patient. And that it would be the same for the adult patient, for the pediatric patient. Uh, you have a very easy 
um, inter instructor interface that helps also to select the different scenarios. So, I mean, Valsim is a very versatile simulator that you can offer anywhere in any situation where they want to do some teaching and training on ultrasound. Uh, you have casebook, casebook available, uh, adult emergency abdominal pleural cardio. We have COVID-19 module. We have emergency pediatric module. We have featured intrapartum one, two, and OBGYM modules. And of course, they are counting uh, because we are developing more and more modules with uh, uh, scientific advisors. And of course, please remember, your client has always the possibility to add his own modules thanks to the editor that is already inside the simulator. Now, switching a little bit, staying on the ultrasound, but speaking about gynecology, Valsim is called IUSIM when we, call, when we, we talk about uh, intrapartum ultrasound simulator. So, simulate, so ultrasound during the birth, okay? So again, let's fill, the, let's do some homework together in order to remember to who we need to talk about IUSIM. IUSIM is pretty specialistic, is for OBGYN, is made for physician residents, and please remember midwives. Everywhere now in the world, the, the, the goal is to have also midwives that are always on the side of the, of the, of the mother, to be able to use the probe during birth and to understand so uh, the situation of the of the fetus earlier before uh, damages. Uh, it can be used in high fidelity simulation if it is applied on a high fidelity simulator, for example. It can be used for skill training if it is applied as a tool on a pelvic trainer. It can be used for OSCE as well. Uh, key market. Clinical skill centers, in centers, postgraduate centers, OSCE programs, teaching hospitals. Uh, now, IOSIM is an intrapartal sonography simulator, and it allows the user to evaluate the labor progress, measure head perineum distance, and angle of progressions. These are two uh, features that are important for the physician, for the gynecologist. It helps to predict operative vaginal delivery and understand normal and abnormal labor through ultrasound images. Here, a quick video for you. UCM is a unique and advanced intrapartum sonography simulator that allows the user to evaluate the labor progress, measure head perineum distance and angle of progression, predict operative vaginal delivery, and understand normal and abnormal labor through ultrasound images. The intrapartum sonography enables the objective measurement of birth progress and provides a more scientific basis for assessing labor. The correct use of ultrasound is of crucial importance in performing a safe operative delivery. The UCM software and its high fidelity realistic ultrasound probe will be able to recreate the most lifelike intrapartum images. A user-friendly interface will allow the instructor to independently create, using a powerful editor, a customized and exclusive casebook of real ultrasound images, videos, and volumes. UCM includes a childbirth mannequin, one ultrasound curvilinear probe, RFID sensors, and several clinical cases from basic to advanced level. Simulation-based training reduces medical error, enhances clinical outcomes, and reduces the cost of clinical care. UCM will be your practice for perfection. UCM is the first device which has been developed to train with ultrasound and label. Uh, this is the first time that we have available a device which allows the provider to train in assessing uh, the fetal head descent and progression during the label. We know that uh, clinical assessment of the progression of label is uh, inaccurate and the uh, use of ultrasound has been claimed as a very important innovation in improving the intrapartum care. So far, we did not have the opportunity to train 
and to get familiar with the use of ultrasound in labor. So this was something just for the expert. Nowadays, thanks to UCIM, we'll have the opportunity to spread the knowledge and the practice with the use of ultrasound in labor. We will deliver a lot of clinical scenarios of different feet and head presentation and position during labor. And thanks to this device, thanks to UCIM, we will show the different sonographic findings in the, under the different clinical circumstances. This will help the clinician to assess if there is any problem during parturition, if there is a clinical indication to an obstetric intervention, and in this latter case, if the clinical intervention should be a cesarean section or an instrumental vaginal delivery. This will have the aim to make safer labor and delivery for women, what is a very important thing, especially nowadays. Okay, uh, remember that, uh, um, remember that uh, IUCM, like Valsem, is uh, it's sold as a tool for ultrasound that can be applied to any mannequin. So you can think about birthing simulators or childbirth or torso that your client already has, or you can purchase from NASCO and apply the sensor on top of that product. And in this way, you add also the ultrasound feature to the birthing mannequin, to the birthing torso. The thing is that nowadays, everywhere in the world, uh, there are many simulators, many simulations um, of birthing, but no one of them has got an intrapartum feature, ultrasound feature. So you can give to your client, again, an extra value for an already made uh, investment. In this case, a birthing simulator or a childbirth torso. Uh, IOCM has got one curvilinear probe, uh, and you have different intrapartum cases, and you can measure also with the angle of progression and the anterior distance. You, uh, you can, of course, add the new cases because as the Valsim has got a, 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 his own editor, and you have the possibility so to increase the number of cases and also to buy, purchase new models that are available like OBGYN or postpartum models. You have the possibility to install the software on any computer, and again, the instructor interface is browser-based. Uh, again, we care about uh, also the publications, and we have a couple of nice publications where IOC was used, in one case, um, was used for midwife training. On the other side, it was instead a, a a simulation with not only midwives, but also uh, OBGYN. But anyway, it was successful to see how the use of IOCM increased the knowledge of reading an ultrasound image by the user. Okay, so before switching, uh, let's see if someone has a, a question. Otherwise, we move on and we'll go to the next, uh, uh, to the next subject. Uh, let me see. I think Cindy already took care of sending you some brochures and stuff like that. So if you don't have any questions, let's move on. Let's go to the to the second part, and then in any time, in any time, we can come back and cover any questions. So now, Doctor Sim. So what we saw until now were ultrasound simulators, including uh, puncturing, including. Uh, uh, ultrasound for emergency, ultrasound for obstetric. Now we go in a different chapter. Now we're talking about telesimulation. Now we're talking about clinical cases given through a software. And this is Dr. Sim. Uh, Dr. Sim, of course, uh, it's a software and it can be proposed to anyone, uh, cardiology, critical care, emergency medicine. The main ranges of doctor is the undergraduate medicine student, of course, that can be the main interest. And the way you want to simulate with this is through telesimulation. It can be used also in, uh, in classrooms as well, uh, as presenting clinical cases in front of a class. But of course, telesimulation 
uh, was popular lately, unfortunately, and it will be popular in the next future. Um, key market, med schools, of course, first. Clinical skills center, sim center, teaching hospitals, pharma company as well. Uh, sometimes they want to build uh, dedicated uh, cases in order to uh, highlight uh, something of their product. It can be it can be a market as well. So Dr. Sim is an interactive clinical simulation software. Interactive can be not only the software but also for the people using it. As you can see on the left side is our table version where people were touching and uh, moving around the software. It, it, the best statement for the Dr. Sim, it can be the following that summarized all the features. Dr. Sim is an interactive clinical simulation software for e-learning and telesimulation. It includes an editor. So again, also this time we have an embedded editor that allows the development and the modification of new scenarios, as well as the access to a virtual clinical sharing platform. So uh, you can edit your, your cases, you can modify already made cases, or you can go on a virtual cases, a clinical cases sharing platform free of charge. You can download your cases from over there and you can modify them. Uh, with scenarios available for download thanks to a floating license with lifetime validity. So again, other two concepts, lifetime validity, so no headaches, no stress, no software as a service, no monthly fee. And second, floating license. You can install on multiple computers, and so you can have multiple instructors using the same license. Update upgrades available free of charge, no limitation in the number of end users. So again, no stress, no headaches for the institution that want to buy these tools. And Dr. Sim, as I said, uh, is available for PC or for Mac. You've got different environment, different type of patients, different objects, and, uh, and, and you can change the vitals and the movement of the patient. You can add your own videos. You can add your own images like X, TCs, everything you want in order to create the cases more similar to what you actually want to teach your student. So from all these points, you understand that you don't have to get something done by someone else. And even if it's not perfect for your class, you give to your class because this is what you have to do. You can actually take the, 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 the case, modify it, adjust it to your needs, and then provide it to your students. Uh, embedded inside the software, so you don't need to go outside the software. There is also the way to create a SCORM file. So, and if you are familiar with the SCORM file, these files are, they can be added to LMS platform. And it means that the facility, the institution can follow, can check the activity of the students. Uh, so how long they stayed on that case, what's the result, what the, what the final score, and so to have a full perspective of the exercise made by the, by the user. You can create your advanced clinical cases, and you have no limitation in number of users, and again, free access to a platform that actually is a sharing platform, so you will be also able to upload your cases and be acknowledged if someone else is using your cases. Uh, some pictures taken from Dr. Sam, you have different environments. So in hospital, home, uh, sofa, bedroom, living room, you have the street with the car accident. You have also, you can be inside the ambulance, you can be inside the helicopter, you can be in a uh, doctor room, uh, doctor studio, and you can mix the environment together. So you can create a case that goes from the street to the helicopter and then uh, into, the, into the hospital. Uh, different kind of patients also to, be, to select. We go from adult until neonate. And of course, when you select one of them, it will adapt the room to that kind of patient. Three different solutions in order to get the doctor sim. If you want, we, you can have the license sent by email, easy to get. Also, in order to avoid shipping costs, 
second way uh, inside the USB, USB stick and inside the case, third way uh, table. So interactive table, multi-touch uh, table uh, with a, 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 an Italian design and you can get it and play with it. Um, um, with your with your with your, with your students with your uh, users. Uh, so um, now uh, we finish also the part related to uh, the software and so related to uh, long distance learning. Of course, as I said, unfortunately it was very popular lately. But the biggest feature of these. Uh, software is that you can create your own cases, you can adapt other cases, cases from other instructors, and you can add your own content, okay? With no limitation and with a lifetime license. If, you, if someone of you have any question or we can wait until the end and uh, have a, a, an entire Questions and answer. Okay. Uh, so I will move on to the last part of the presentation. Last part. So we move now. We come back to ultrasound, let's say, but we move to IVF. So we move to the intra intra vitro um, intra vitro fertilization field. So to the human reproduction field. This is a very unique field, very, very uh, focused, uh, but uh, it's, uh, it's a field where you, uh, you can have big opportunities due to the fact that uh, are very unique uh, uh, solutions. So pickup sim is the simulator for all oversight pickup. Uh, let's fill our board again. Let's do some homework. So the end user specialty is OBGYN. In this case, we don't touch midwives or more with, on the physicians and residents. He's a skill trainer and our key markets are clinical skill center, simulation center, postgraduate centers, teaching hospitals, but also medical device companies. And maybe you can add also uh, private clinics that do IVF. Pick up. SIM is an innovative IVF system for the simulation of the ovum decap collection. So what it happened in IVF, you have uh, a sedated patient and you go with the needle uh, inside the ovary and you uh, collect uh, uh, follicles uh, or sites and you collect them in order to create the embryo after it. So, um, it's a painful and also it's an invasive procedure and that's why we need something to train on. Uh, the simulator includes an active feedback system and also a monitor where you can see the ultrasound uh, procedure. Now, let's see a video together. So uh, as you can see now, uh, we, have, uh, we have the ultrasound. So we have the possibility to use real needles, uh, so real device, and to insert the needles inside the ovary. You can select between 10, 10 different ovaries, and so 10 different uh, uh, exercises. You have also an aspiration pump a pedal that simulates the aspiration pump, and so the possibility to aspirate the follicle and to get the fluid into the tubes. Uh, you have the possibility to also increase or decrease the pressure pump uh, velocity, and so and so to have also uh, um, different scenarios available uh, like in real life. Uh, I want to, to, to go to move on and to show you better the point where we, we load the clinical case. So as you can see, so this is the pickup. 
And basically you can uh, switch up and down the view, like in real life. And then if you insert the needle, you go inside the follicle and you can aspirate the follicle. Okay, thanks to the pedal. So you have the pedal and uh, you aspirate the follicle and you get fluid inside the, you get fluid inside your, your tube. Of course, if you're moving, the ultrasound view is moving and you can visualize a better follicle to aspirate, okay? You press and you aspirate like it was in real life. This is just to give you uh, an overview of what you can do, but uh, remember, we are able to simulate perfectly the pickup procedure and we are able to simulate so different scenarios with different degree of difficulty. You have real pickup needles and so you can have also, um, you can change the, the needle based on what your user use in real life. Uh, you have a, an haptic feedback on the needle that create a realism when you when you want to when you pass through the ovary or when, when you pass through the follicle wall. You can save and analyze the student data and the performances. We are giving a score to the user based on a uh, based on a, um, a, a score a proficiency. Uh, scale that was driven and uh, by the ASHRAE community. And also you can expand and customize the simulator, adding uh, new scenarios. Also in this case, we have some uh, papers that underline the need of a pickup sim training for students in order to improve their skills. Uh, in particular, we have a, a, a paper from 2019 from the um, Ferrara group uh, with Professor Marci. And then we have a more recent uh, paper from the 2021 uh, from a, a French team that used uh, a, a pickup sim for obstetric and gynecology residents uh, training. So both papers talk about experience with the pickup sim and how the usage of this simulator improve the skills and make the student, the novice, more confident in doing this exercise, this procedure. Now, we talked about the first phase of the, of the IVF uh, cycle, let's say, so picking up the follicles. Now we see transferring back the embryo into, into the uterus, so how it is this procedure and how it is simulated with the transfer set. Let's first fill out the, the, the homework, the paper, the table. So again, we are talking about obstetric and gynecology. We have physicians and residents involved. We are talking about skill training and again, clinical skill center, private clinics that do IVF, SIM center, postgraduate centers, medical device companies as well in your country can be interested in this kind of uh, tool. In this case, the procedure is different in real life and also in the simulation, in the simulator, what they do is to insert a catheter inside the, the, uh, the pelvic, a pelvic and the catheter goes inside the uterus and you release into the uterus the embryo. So it's an embryo transfer procedures. Uh, and the transfer sim is actually innovative and high fidelity vehicle simulators designed for training clinicians in psychomotors and clinical skills associated with ultrasound guided embryo transfer procedures. So now see a quick video for this.
So as you can see, we also in this video, we use a real device. So we use a, a real catheter, we use a real, a, an ultrasound probe, and we use a, a real uh, inner and outer catheter. We go inside the, the, the birth canal and we inject we inject the, the, the embryo. So as you can see, you have the ultrasound image, the catheter that goes inside, and the embryo that has been injected in this case inside the uterus. On, uh, then you can retract the, like in real life, the, um, the catheter, and, uh, and then you have, uh, you finish your, your session. The most important things of, uh, of the transfer scene is to remember that, first of all, you have four different uterus you can work on. So uh, retroversus anteverted anteverted or retroverted anteversus and all the different, uh, um, all the different uh, combinations. You have 10 clinical cases with uh, uh, difficulties. You have the possibility to use a real device and you have real ultrasound images already included. You have a pelvic trainer that you use for your simulation. So very realistic setup. And you can train on different scenarios and different degrees of difficulties. You can, for example, uh, vary the, uh, the cervix canal diameter uh, and so make the, the exercise more difficult. You can save, analyze your student data. You can expand and customize the simulators and add new scenarios. You can also add augmented reality visualization to the procedures. Uh, what I mean with this is that actually now we have also transfer sim AR available. So basically you're able to, to vest, to, to, to wear uh, all lens to uh, device and to see the uterus, uh, the uterus, the picture of the uterus on top of the, of the trainer inside the room where you are doing the training. So here a quick video to show you how it works. Uh, so very quick. Uh, as you can see now, uh, so we do the procedure. So now this is the view if you are wearing the, the, the glasses. So basically the uterus is inside the room as an hologram, okay? Like uh, if you ever use the HoloLens, uh, you know what I'm talking about. And actually you can see, you can see live the catheter going inside and you can see where the catheter released the embryo, where the, I'm sorry, where the user released the embryo uh, in an augmented view of, of the procedure, of course, because usually it's impossible to see this cut plane of the, of the uterus. And so on the right side, you have the ultrasound picture. And on the left side, you have the visualization through the, through the OLS. And it's very, very important for students to understand why I'm seeing this picture, thanks to this anatomy, and thanks to, to, the, uh, to this uh, transfer sim AR uh, option, you are able to, to simply visualize what you're doing. So you see we are releasing the embryo and, and then removing the catheter. And the action is valid on one side and on the other side. Of course, we have also difficulties and the possibility to touch, for example, the, the fundus of the uterus and to, get, and to get bleeding coming out. And, and it's, a, it's a very nice experience, a unique experience for the, for the, for the student, for the resident. Um, now, Let's move to the third and the last uh, product we want to present, Sonohistrosim. Sonohistrosim, it's 
a product that can be included in the IDF line, but is more a product for OBGYN. And uh, let's do some homework. It's easy in this case because it will be the same specialties, same ranges, same uh, kind of uh, training and same uh, key markets at, as for the pickup and the transfer. And uh, also in this case, the focus is on the OBGYN world. And uh, in this case, the Sono Easter Sim is an innovative simulator designed for training clinician to the Sono Easterography. So the Sono Easterography is that procedure that basically go to uh, with an ultrasound the intravaginal probe uh, into uh, you, you go uh, inside uh, the vagina and then inject fluid using a catheter in order to enlarge the uterus and to look for pathologies, fibromas, myomas in, in, in the, on the uterus wall. And this is actually what we allow with the Sono Eastern Sim. So we allow the user of the real catheters uh, to train on different uh, real scenarios, uh, to train on real ultrasound images, to use the, the, uh, the transvaginal probe and to train on different pathologies. So you have uh, clinical scenarios you can, you, you can train on. Just to go quickly, and whenever you choose the scenario, you will have a case information about the scenario. You will be asked to do you know, uh, different questions and answers. And then you will be able also to, to do the procedure. So to insert the catheter, like in real life, to insert exactly speculum and then the catheter, and then to remove the speculum with all the difficulties related of removing the, the speculum, and then to do the ultrasound. So as you can see, I'm moving left and right the, uh, the transvaginal probe and the picture of the uterus is moving as well. And of course, like in a, in a, in a real uh, environment, you will have the possibility to view uh, the, the uterus in a dry way, so without the fluid, or to inject the fluid and to see the uterus when after the injection. So as you can see, we can take a syringe, like in real life, and inject fluid inside the catheter and the fluid will go inside the, the uterus. And then you're able to scan the uterus left and right and see if you have got pathologies on the uterus wall. Okay. So it's a very didactic and a materialistic uh, simulator. Uh, you don't have anything similar on the market. Again, it's a unique product. And anything else is there are some phantoms, but they don't do the same work. You cannot do clinical cases. Now, thanks everyone, of course, for the attention. We almost touched the 55 minutes of presentation. I think they were enough um, information for you guys. And of course, I thank now also before the questions, I thank. Uh, NASCO Healthcare for the opportunity. I thank Cindy for the hard work uh, she did for, with me during the last weeks. I thank also Lee Johnson for the, of course, uh, the, the, the request, first request, and again for the opportunity. And of course, I thank you guys to be here with me and uh, to assist to this webinar. And uh, it was great to see you, uh, see you all. And if you have any question, of course, you can do it here right now, or you can just email us or email NASCO and we'll get an answer for you.